Hey everyone, so I'm back in with another video this time around. I have some 6th gen video game pickups to show you guys. I only have 3 games to show you guys uh, that I'm pretty excited to add to my collection. Um, and let's just get right to it. So first up here, I got this from... I believe it was from the Value Village. Um, but... No, actually, I got this from a local thrift store. It's a 007 Agent Under Fire. Um, it's complete inside. I should probably show you guys that first. But, yeah, it's complete. Uh, it's in pretty decent condition. And uh, it was two ninety nine, I suppose, because that's what they charge for original Xbox and PS2 games at that uh, thrift store. And it would have been on 50% off day as well, because uh, that's more or less the only time that I go to the store. And... Uh, I don't know, for $1.50 I was okay with uh, getting this for that price. Now the next two games are definitely a lot more exciting than Agent Under Fire. Um, I got another game to add to my Dreamcast collection, a game that I actually thought I already had but turns out I don't have. It's Evil Dead Hail to the King and uh, yeah, I, I can't say much about this. I like the Evil Dead movies, uh, the series of movies, even the remake. Uh, well, I shouldn't call it a remake. It's definitely a different movie. Uh, but, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what kind of game this is. I'm going to assume it's some kind of an, of an action game. Uh, and it's supposed to be very bloody and violent. So, uh, I'll take a look at that sometime soon. But, for now, uh, it just goes right into the collection back there. Uh, and then the last game that I got uh, that I'm really, really happy to add to my collection because it's a very difficult game to get. Um, it's definitely overpriced here in the city of Toronto and I was very lucky to find this for a more realistic price. Uh, it even came with the uh, French manual that usually is missing, especially from uh, a lot of these games that were, um, like a lot of the 6th gen games, the French manuals were sort of plastic wrapped, like shrink wrapped on the outside of the game case, so they're much larger than the case itself, like the space inside the case, uh, so they don't fit into the case afterwards, and usually when you find them along with the French manual, the French man manual is either folded or creased in some way, and uh, it's not in great condition. This one here definitely has a big crease in it. I'll try to see if I can flatten, uh, flatten it out. But it's Mega Man X Collection for the GameCube. Uh, definitely one of the hardest uh, GameCube games to find. One of the more valuable GameCube games as well. It's definitely not... Um, near the top, well, it's near the top of the list, but it's not, like, right at the top of it. Uh, it's about a 50 to $60 game, but here in the city of Toronto, it's overpriced, and most people are asking anywhere from $90 uh, to $100, and in the past, I've seen for uh, it go for even more than that. I shouldn't say go for, because pretty much, uh, I'm not sure if anybody actually bought it, but I swear I've seen it before here in the city of Toronto, for even a hundred and ten, even a hundred and twenty dollars, which I find kind of ridiculous. But it was complete. It even had the French manual, which is kind of uh, folded, like I said. And there's the English manual inside. It even has the precautions uh, pamphlet in the back there. You can see. And the disc is near flawless. It has uh, one scratch on it and a couple of fingerprints. But it only has one uh, noteworthy scratch on it, and it's a very, very light surface scratch, so uh, that's perfectly fine in my book. I'm very happy to add this to my collection. I I got it for $40. Uh, $40 isn't uh, an amazing price on this, but it's definitely a decent price for this game. Considering that, like I said, it sells for a lot more here. Uh, anyways, that's all I got. As always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Also, check out my 300 subscribers contest. It'll be linked in the description below. Also linked in the description is my Facebook, Twitter, and website. Just go ahead and check them out if you'd like. 
and that's all I have to say. See ya.